Shabri's devotion. In Ramayana, there is an interesting account of an old, pious woman named Shabri. She belonged to a tribal family and lived all by herself in a thatched hut in a dense forest, Dandakaranya. She was an ardent devotee of Lord Rama and spent her days in worship and prayers. Being unlettered, she could not read holy books, nor could she understand the spiritual knowledge of the religious texts. She only knew how to transmit messages of her heart by means of love and pity. All her prayers were always answered. This strengthened her faith in God. She used to dance and sing with zeal in her worship sessions. Being a devotee of Rama, she was convinced that Lord Rama would one day surely grace her heart with his presence. And that day finally arrived. After leaving his Chitrakoot habitat, Rama, along with Lakshman, headed towards Dandakaranya forest to look for clues about Sita's whereabouts. He received tidings about the old Bhil woman Shabri, who could possibly help him in his search for Sita. When Rama and Lakshman finally reached Shabri's hut, she was beyond herself with joy. Offering them straw mats to sit on, she rushed out to bring for the two brothers some fruits. Soon laid before either of her esteemed guests was a broad banana leaf with a handful of berries. Like an affectionate mother, she picked up the berries one at a time, tasted them, and then offered the sweet ones to Rama and Lakshman. The brothers smiled and ate the berries with relish. Shabri's innocence, devotion and affection won Rama's heart. He revealed to her about the nine modes of devotion to God. Shabri told them about Pampa River, Kishkindha Empire of Sugriva and Bali, and explained how Sugriva would be of great help in their mission to trace Sita.